Welcome to update 2 on now Major Hurricane Ada, which has exploded throughout the day and went from what I believe was just a tropical storm yesterday and a minimal Category 1 this morning to what is now what I believe to currently be a Cat 5. According to the NHC, it is a very high-end Cat 4 expected to be a 5, but according to new reconnaissance data, I believe it is already a Category 5. And potentially in the next update or a special update, they will upgrade it to 155, but I believe it will be 160, and that is what my current estimate and what I am going with. Ada is a very powerful storm making its way towards Nicaragua and Honduras, and very unfortunate if you are in the path of that storm, I wish you the best of luck. This is some satellite imagery, and as you can see, it has created that pinhole eye that storms can develop very quickly with. We've seen many storms in the area like this, such as Wilma. I do, I'm not saying at all that it will get to the strength of Wilma. I do not think it will get to the strength of Wilma. But just a example of storms in the area of a similar satellite imagery. Currently, with winds of 160 miles per hour with a pressure of 922 millibars, and its current movement is west-southwest at 7 miles per hour. Current watches and warnings... A hurricane warning out for Nicaragua and the very, very southern portion of Honduras. Well, there's a tropical storm warning out for the majority of Honduras. Current watches is a hurricane watch for the majority of Honduras. Let's look at those PDA stages and for the first time since Delta, but Delta didn't actually end up becoming this, but for the first time since Delta, we have a red phase on the PDA stage and as you can see there's reds and oranges spreading throughout a lot of areas there and even the yellows greens and blues extending very far back in to this and it could loop out and potentially be a threat to Cuba and Florida down the line about a week out And I believe it will peak at 170 miles per hour just before landfall. And then weaken to 90 miles per hour despite that saying 75. I believe it will get down to only 90 or 100, potentially even a little stronger if it doesn't weaken quite as fast as expected to. But this storm is expected to weaken quite fast after landfall despite its strong intensity. It could stay stronger longer due to it blowing up and having a very well structured system, but it is not expected to last too long as a major hurricane over Nicaragua and Honduras. Let's take a look at the actual PDA stage. And this is for Nicaragua, and for the first time that we will actually see these conditions in a place and the second time that they have been issued, we have a PDA stage 8 or a red phase for Nicaragua. If you are in that area, practically unsurvivable conditions will be felt there. Potentially and very likely category 5 winds. A surge of around 20 feet and rainfall of around 30 inches. The storm is nothing to play around with. It, it will not be quick in and out. It will sit over your area and dump rain for quite a while, so if it's still possible and you're in the direct path of the storm, please leave. That's all I can say. Thank you guys for watching this update. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and signing off.